you guys are seeing here is the Miles Phantom electric skateboard. Miles is a company out of California. Uh, they, have, they got a couple electric skateboards out right now. Um, this is their latest one that just came out. Um, I've had mine now for about five days or so and had a good chance to ride it so I wanted to give my thoughts and reviews on it. So first things first, you guys can see it's a short board, pretty short. Uh, I think it's like 31.5 inches long. Uh, I think like nine and a half inches wide. Um, it's also a drop deck. It's my first time ever riding a drop deck. I typically ride like a flat long board, but mostly I ride a short board. Um, traditional like, you know, popsicle shaped boards for street skating and stuff. So this is, this is my first electric skateboard ever. Um, so I don't have anything else to go off of. Um, but I wasn't sure I was going to like this drop deck, um, but I actually really do like it. It's pretty comfortable riding uh, once you get your stance right. Um, what, you, what you'll see is your feet kind of get locked into these, these, these grooves and you're kind of got a lower center of gravity, which is really nice because believe it or not, they've got this board to where it can go up to 30 miles per hour, which is insane. Uh, I have not done that yet. I've gotten it up to about 26 miles per hour yesterday and um and that was that was plenty fast enough for me right now um but uh but yeah it was pretty sick um but it, it's nice to have that low steering and gravity um i was worried that the shortness of the board might uh, not feel great at those speeds but it actually felt really good and because like i said i'm more used to short board anyways um it was great um yeah, so it's carbon fiber. It's really stiff, which is great because again, at those speeds, you don't want any kind of like a traditional wood board give. You want it to be stiff um, and not to shake at all. Um, that's for sure. Uh, you can see here uh, the wheels that I have on here um, are these cloud all-terrain wheels. So this was like an upgrade. I did like the VIP um, Pro bundle that they have. Um, the wheels that come with it, if you just get the, um, the regular board, um, are these 97 millimeter wheels, um, and they're pretty flat. They're nice. Uh, I rode on it the first day, um, pretty fast. Uh, they, you get the most miles out of this, like distance wise, they say that you can get about 30 miles distance on these wheels. Um, this parking lot here, I rode it here and it was great. Um, it's, it's not a real rough parking lot or anything. Um, and what was nice is because the size 97 millimeter, I was able to carve pretty good. So if you're really into carving um, and kind of, you know, that surfing style, um, this was great because you're able to have the trucks a little looser. Also came with this nice um, skate tool um, so you can change everything out. The wheels were super easy to change, just like a, any other normal skateboard. You just take the bolt off. The only thing was the back ones because What's neat about this is it's not a belt drive uh, board. Uh, this dual direct drive, these these motors attach directly to the wheels, and this is just a normal normal uh, wheel. Um, so you're getting like high torque, and you don't have, and it's very quiet too, which you'll see when I when I start this bad boy up. But uh, the only thing was when I first got these wheels, trying to get the back ones off because it kind of like clips into these plastic things. I just had to use like a little rubber mallet just to gently tap around to get that off. Um, but not too bad. It took like less than five minutes to change these wheels out. Um, but uh, after the first ride, I decided to put these cloud wheels on and these things are sick. Uh, it says all terrain. Um, if you see here, there's like some grass over here and I was able to ride through it uh, just fine. Um, you have to give it a little more uh, push on the acceleration to get through sometimes and the only thing is when you transition back into the concrete you want to make sure you kind of get off the throttle and I didn't do that because as soon as I hit the pavement again I almost fell off the board and busted my butt but uh but yeah so there are some rougher roads around where I live and these wheels absorb it all like it was it's like butter I mean, it really is a cloud um, so if you get this board definitely upgraded these wheels these these are definitely worth it they're 105 um, so they're a little bigger the downside is, is because of that, you have to tighten the trucks more, um, which is easy. 
You know, you got these king pins here and the skate tool that they give you allows you to tighten it really easily. But you want to make sure you tighten it enough to where you don't get what they call wheel bite. And that's when you're when you're leaning on the board with your foot and you're turning. This wheel, if the trucks are too loose, will hit the board and it'll immediately stop. And that happened to me the first time I put the wheels on and I went to make a sharper turn. I wasn't going very fast because um, I'm, I'm more aware of wheel bite and I just wanted to kind of check it out. But for those who are not, you want to make sure you have it as tight as it needs to be to where you're not going to have wheel bite because um, that will throw you off and it'll be a bad day for you. So that's the only thing is, um, but you know, again, if you're putting these wheels on, you're probably wanting to go faster and you don't want loose trucks. You want it to be stable. Um, but just be aware, like if you have to make a tight turn, slow down and, um, you know, just be aware of that. So yeah, and this thing looks sick too. I mean, I love the design. Um, it looks so stealthy and like, because of the battery is built inside of the board. You know, if you were just to take a, a, a look at it, like, and you didn't really know what it was, it doesn't look like it's an electric skateboard. Of course, until you pass somebody, you know, going 20 plus miles per hour, and they realize that's not a normal skateboard. But yeah, it's it's just sick. Another awesome thing is, it comes with these mounts in the front, see here, and in the back here put some lights on there so if you're riding in the dark you want people to see you again this came with the pro vip bundle that i got got these shred lights um, super bright uh, lights so they blink or they can do continuously um, but you get a, a pair of the front for the normal white lights and then you get some for the back for the red lights um, it'll probably help you see in the front if you're going slow enough but this is more so for uh, cars and other people to see you when you're riding um, at night. I haven't put these on yet, um, but I plan to. Um, that's sick. I used to cycle a lot, so um, definitely be safe. You know, you want cars and stuff to see you. Um, uh, also being safe, I had to buy myself a helmet. I haven't had a helmet in a while, but I didn't want to injure my brain um, going 30 miles per hour. So definitely get yourself a helmet, be safe. Uh, here's the battery, um, charger, charger for the battery. Uh, I haven't had it to where I've run the juice all the way down, so I'm not sure how long it takes. It seems like when I've ridden it, um, you know, and it uh, five miles or so, it takes um, about an hour to charge or so. I'm not really sure, but it, it seems pretty efficient. Um, and here's the remote. This remote is, is pretty awesome. It's got this nice like rubberized mat, so it feels really good in your hand. And you've got this wheel here. Push forward to go to accelerate, pull back to brake. Um, it's very sensitive too, so you wanna be careful and not just like gun it or pull back. Uh, uh, apparently this is like a common remote too, so like if something happens to this, you can find it online um, and just pair it with your board. It's a Bluetooth connection, um, so it's easy to replace if something ha were to happen to this. And here's the charger that comes with it. Simple like USB, you know, this is like an, an Apple from my iPhone. Um, I was able to charge it with that. Um, but yeah, so when you turn this guy on, there's a little button. Here's the charging port right here. There's a little like protective rubber. I don't know if you can see that. You just pull that open and then you plug it in, super easy. And that's to help protect it from the rain and water. I've ridden it on a pretty dreary, wet day this past week, and the board did great, especially with these wheels. They like gripped super good on the ground. I didn't feel unstable at all, um, so that was awesome. It's built to be water resistant. You don't want to go riding through. I don't think too heavy of puddles, but if you hit a puddle, it's no big deal. I think it'll. I think it'll do just fine. Um, but here's the button. Turn to power it on. Lift it up. So you can see this. Hard to see. Turns red. Turns on. Alright. And you can hear it, it's pretty quiet. Now when you turn the remote on, you just press and hold this guy. Oh, that looks strange. 
for some reason, viewing it on my phone, it's got this weird flash. But anyways, I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, you can see that the left battery in the corner is for the remote. The right battery is for the board, so it tells you how much juice you got left. You get a um, odometer for your trip mileage, that's what the T is for. And then the O is for your overall mileage of the board, so I've, I've got 18.1 miles um, so far this week on the board. Uh, it shows you how fast you're going. There's three different speed modes. Um, if you start out in speed mode one, and uh, it doesn't accelerate as fast, it didn't seem, uh, which is good. So if you're a beginner, that's where, that's where I started. And I got it up to about 14 miles per hour on uh, the first speed mode. So, um, but yeah, let's let's try this out. Let's uh, accelerate it. You can see how quiet this guy is. Super quiet. Again, if you're riding by somebody and you're not going too fast, they might not even know you're on an electric board. All right, and then speed mode two. You can see. Yeah, I've only done speed mode three once. And that's when I got it up to 26 miles per hour. And then I got a little scared. So I was, <laughs> I've been just chilling in speed mode two for right now. Um, I did notice this, where I live, uh, I'm in the uh, low country of South Carolina. It's pretty flat, there's not a lot of hills. Um, really flat land, but there are a few hills. Um, and speed mode two definitely climbed the hills a lot better, um, but no problem. And then I felt so secure going down the hills too. Cause typically riding on a, short board or something you know you have to power slide or put your foot down to slow down having this break is so nice it feels so safe um to be able to break going downhill and come to stop signs um so i really like that um that's pretty great um let me see what else um yeah it's uh it's stout it's heavy um they say it's about 18 pounds um pretty good weight on it again you want a good bit of weight for something that's going to go this fast and take you that far uh if you're a commuter and say you had to get on a bus or something or a subway um i mean carrying something that's 18 pounds is not the lightest but it's also not the heaviest and it's and it's not that big so if you're planning to get something like this for commuting i think it would work pretty good um um, for me, I'm just kind of enjoy riding on it right now. I've been working from home this past year, like a lot of people, but um, it would be fun to commute if I could. Um, the, uh, you can also get this sweet Eastgate backpack uh, with the Pro Bundle. They're still in production. haven't got mine yet, but um, it gives you the ability to strap it into the backpack if you have to take it on a bus or something and carry it. And it's got some other cool... Um, accessories with it uh, which you can see on their website they've done videos on it Rob Rass has done a good great video on it you want to check out his Instagram or YouTube um, but yeah this is sick I love I just love it so far um, I'm really glad I went with this company um, I've had lots of questions you know even before I bought the board and they were super helpful answering all my questions um, highly recommend this board I think it's a great price for what you get um, you know I did a lot of research in other companies and um, this one just seems solid, like it's going to last a long time. Switch over to give you guys a little taste of what it's like riding this guy. Right. This remote's got this cool lanyard here, uh, so it can be secure in your hand. I'm right-handed. Uh, the one thing is, if you're left-handed, I don't know, I don't think you can get a different remote um, to where you're holding it in your left hand, um, to where you can view the screen easily when you're riding. Um, so that's kind of a downside, but... Uh, maybe there's another remote you can get online uh, for left-handers. So, but it'd be cool if they, in the future, um, offered a left-handed remote uh, when you bought the board. So, um, but that's again, I'm right-handed, so not a big deal. All right, so you see where I got my feet. I'm kind of right in that groove. Um, I found that my back foot, I, because I'm more traditionally shortboard and street skating, you know, uh, for tricks and stuff. I like. I wish there was more of a kicktail, um, just so if you wanted to pull up, it's a little hard. Again, this guy's heavy too, so. Um, but I found that I kind of like my foot a little higher up in the back, but like kind of right in that groove as well. 
and it helps really, um, you know, uh, kind of push into the board when you're accelerating or when you're decelerating. Um, so when you first accelerate, you definitely want to lean forward and kind of brace for that. Um, you don't want to not be ready and get jerked off the board. Um, same with decelerating, you kind of want to lean back a little bit uh, when you start to, to slow down. So, all right, let's go. Super quiet. Again, because I have the truck so tight with these cloud wheels, I'm not able to carve as much as I'd like, but again, you know, it's kind of give or take. I'm gonna be able to go fast and use these big cloud wheels and run through anything, then that's not a, not a bad deal. about 22, 22 miles per hour right now. This is speed mode two. I think speed mode two, 22 miles per hour might be the top speed. I'm gonna bump it up to speed mode three real quick for you. about 24 right right then and like I said my first electronic skateboard so try not to kill myself just yet but for all you uh, daredevils out there speedboat 3 is where it's at for sure This thing is fun though, man. I'm gonna take it through some grass. Again, you have to kind of give it a good throttle to get through this stuff. And then when you go to transition, make sure you let off so you're not, because when it, when it bites back down on that concrete, it'll start going. Brake's really nice. You can see it just comes to a complete stop if you need it to. No problem. No problem at all breaking. Yeah, that's a great safety feature. Not sure how other electronic boards break, but I feel really comfortable. I feel, felt like it was really easy to get used to the remote. I love that, that this push wheel guy. Super nice. But yeah, definitely. I, uh, I say if you're in the market for electric skateboard, you want something that's stable and fast and you can get up to about 30 miles distance on it i think go with this guy i don't really know if another route board out there can compare right now yeah beautiful day out here too perfect day for riding All right, that's my review.